The Republican Party has become the party of Trump, but there are a lot of Republicans who do not support him, even before yesterday's events. So what happens now? What happens to the party next? Here are some thoughts. The Republican Party started as a third party. And party of Lincoln, that was a third party. And we may have to do that again for those of us that are physically conservative, but um, socially moderate who don't find a home in the Trump party. It's important for the party to set aside uh, those notions of being tied to one person and instead be able to articulate a governing vision. Once President Biden takes power and Democrats start to roll out their agenda, the focus will change a little bit. It'll be a little easier for Republicans to get together uh, and unify on something. Democratic institutions are functioning, uh, and that can and will. And I think if you look at market performance, is still lending security uh, and some degree of, uh, of confidence, I suppose, to investors. There are several leaders in Europe who are actively courting and supporting this president. Phenomena like this depend on many people, not just voters, more than 70 million voters who supported Donald Trump, but more importantly, business leaders. I'm speaking on Bloomberg today. Business leaders who gave money to this man repeatedly when it was known, or they should have known, where this would end. Not only financed him, supported him, believing that they would enrich themselves. And I find that really... Um, very, very disappointing behavior. Calling out the president's enablers. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.